In fact, he said, vanity, vanity, all is vanity. It's like chasing the wind. It was at this point I realized I was losing him. Alcohol tends to drown the soul. So I wasn't surprised at what happened next. How often do you do your hair like that? Uh, about three times a year. And so this is a special occasion. You knew I was going to come and interview you. Now, a brother of mine got married yesterday and they had a steampunk wedding. Now, what's a steampunk wedding? Um, it's a whole group of people that um, believe in that steam power is going to power everything. So it's just a different change. Is it a joke? Ah, uh, no. Um, it's a, some people's lifestyle, actually. They use steam engines for everything, and I love it. It's creative. So, so what about electricity? Is that down the tubes? You're not going to use electricity anymore? I'm not, per se, steampunk. Uh, the wedding was just themed as steampunk, so I put my hair up. Okay. And you took the attention off the bride and to yourself. <laughs> now, Austin, tell me, do you think there's an afterlife? Uh, I believe there is an afterlife, but... You ever think about your own death? Uh, whenever it happens, it happens. I'm ready for it, man. <laughs> well, you know, if you think that, you'll never seek an answer for it. You'll say, oh, it's inevitable. There's a train heading for me. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to get out of the way. It's inevitable. Now, if a train's heading for you, get off the tracks. And do you think anything can be done about your death? Uh, nope. When it's time, it's time. Do you believe in God's existence? Yeah. So why has he given us death? There's a time and a place. Yeah, but why? I mean, death is the most horrific thing that can ever happen to a human being. You're going to lose your mum and dad, your brother and your sister, all your friends, your dog, your cat. Everything's going to die. If you're a thinking person, you'll ask why. Have you ever heard of Solomon? Nope. Solomon's the wisest man to live ever outside of Christ. In fact, he said, vanity, vanity, all is vanity. It's like chasing the wind. It was at this point I realized I was losing him. Alcohol tends to drown the soul. So I wasn't surprised at what happened next. Do you think God is happy with you or angry at you? Uh, God is always happy with me. You've never done anything that's morally wrong that could anger him? Never said that. God will forgive. So God forgives everything? God forgives. What do you think of Jesus? This interview's not going the way I wanted it. Okay, tell me, you take it the way you want, because I, I don't want to make you feel like I'm really sorry. But I'd just like to share with you my testimony, uh, my Christian testimony, and you give me your thoughts afterwards, and you give me permission to do that. I'll cut to the chase so you don't feel uncomfortable. Well, I heard that Christ died on the cross for my sins. Have you ever heard that? Yes. But one thing I didn't understand is that I'd sinned against God. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. I thought, man, if God's seen my thought life and he considers lust to be adultery, I'm in big trouble and I'm going to end up in hell. And that's when I understood why Christ died. We broke the law, the Ten Commandments. Jesus paid the fine. That's what happened on the cross. You guys want to do an interview afterwards? You've done one already? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. So he wasn't offended. Um, so anyway, and I repented of my sins that night, put my faith in Christ, and God forgave my sins and granted me the gift of everlasting life. And that's all I wanted to tell you, that you can find everlasting life by just searching your heart, listening to your conscience, turning from sin and trusting in the Savior. And you've got a promise from the God who cannot lie that he'll grant you everlasting life as a free gift. Does that make sense? It does. Well, Austin, you've been a good sport. Thanks for letting me share my testimony. Do you have a Bible at home? I do. When did you last read it? Uh, last week. You did? Yeah. Well, something's happening. What did you read? Uh, it's personal. I keep it between me and what I'm reading, so. Well, thank you, Austin. Appreciate talking to you. Am I, are they your friends over there? Acquaintances. Any of you guys want to do an interview? You did one too? Did, one too? did you enjoy it? Yeah. I enjoyed the gift Yeah, you both enjoyed it. So... Uh, I've got I've got stuff I can give you, okay? So Austin, thanks for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Every time I've gone to give this little booklet out, How to Be Free from the Fear of Death, I've done so with fear and trembling. 
I don't know why I get so nervous because everybody I've given it to has been very pleased to receive it. The CDC reported that in June of 2020, 22 million Americans seriously considered taking their own lives. So I'd like you to seriously consider getting this booklet from livingwaters.com and giving it away.